Oh, YouTube, it's really good. My name is Vivid, and today we're doing, um, this is kind of like a fun league. Me and a bunch of friends, uh, we just decided we're going to do this draft. It's just going to be, you know, the people that are these friends in this Discord server. If I decide to upload this, I'll have a video talking about what I drafted. Not like a full traditional breakdown, but just like a list of everything I drafted and talking about who's in the league and how it's all just for fun and stuff. But, uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm uploading this yet. We'll see. I, it's to be determined, but today, uh, we're battling root and it's a fun battle. So I'm not going to go over, you know, the like strategies or what he brought or like, or what he could bring or what I was predicting. I, I just built to have fun. I just drafted things to have fun. So now let's, uh, just battle for fun. Okay. <laughs> all right. So we're connected. We see that root brings the Zarud, the Rotom wash, the Volcarona, the Togekiss, the Klefki, and the Hacks. Uh, so definitely, definitely I was pretty sure that the Volcarona would come. Uh, Venusaur looks phenomenal here as like a closer late game. So that's something that I should play to. I think I just have to chip down the Hacks and the Clef a little bit. Uh, and then Venusaur, well, I also have to chip down the Volcarona. The Volcarona, I think has to die for Venusaur to sweep. Unless I set up a, unless I set up a growth. Either way, I don't think there's anything wrong with leading Zeraora here. Uh, Zero Aura takes most hits really well and can just pivot out. He didn't bring the, he did not bring his Golurk, so we don't super have to worry about Golurk coming in and, like, we just Volts with around is what I'm trying to say. Anyways, yeah, like I said, this is going to be a fun league. Um, I, like, I'm not taking these battles, like, I, I don't want to be stressed out about these. Like, I built this team in something like... 10 ish minutes, uh, maybe more like 30 minutes to like fully get EVs and stuff done. But uh, I'm not trying to stress out, I'm just trying to have fun and battle some friends. Uh, and this is all going to be irrelevant if I don't upload it. I have a feeling I will, I think, because I think it'll be fun. Like some of the matches might even be on showdown because I think some of the coaches don't want to do Wi Fi because Wi Fi is a struggle this generation. But I think we have, I think we have a good squad here. Uh, Venusaur looks insane to close out the game and. I don't know, just the Sun Corn General. I'm assuming the Klefki probably has like Rain Dance or something. Uh, is, is, that would be like my initial guess is that the Klefki has Rain Dance or screens, maybe like dual screens Clef. Uh, Klefki just in general is like a little bit of a monster. So, all right, let's see. What's the plan, Root? Da -da 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 -da. Okay, Zarude. Interesting lead. I have no clue what this thing does. Like, I don't even know what its moves are. To be super honest with you, I have no clue what its moves are. Um, I'm gonna play rough turn one though, I guess. I I don't I don't know what this thing does. Uh, I mean, I'm just like I guess we're just revealing that I have play rough. I have no clue what this thing gets access to. I know it's like physically slanted. No, I don't want the Bulletpedia. I want the Cerebi page. Use your turn. Okay, so that's scarfed, I think, because we outpace anything that's not scarfed. So that's good to know. Zerud scarfed. Uh, which means. Yeah, I don't know. I don't actually know what that means now that I think about it. How much is Play Rough going to do to Rotom Wash? Not a ton. But it's okay, because I think we can just Volt Switch here. Actually, we can probably just stay in and Plasma Fist it. Like, what's it going to do? Will O'Wisp me? I guess it could Will O'Wisp me. Yeah, I guess we just Volt Switch here. We just Volt Switch. Uh. I just I don't want to eat a willow. I'm actually gonna go into Torkoal this uh right now, I do believe. Cause Torkoal will still eat a hydro pump, even in the like once the sun is set up, Torkoal eats a hydro pump. So it seems like a reasonable switch. And then we can just pivot out after this. And we can't pivot, we don't have a pivot move, but Alright, what's it doing? Willowist? Yeah, okay. Fails. Easy. Easy peasy, lemon, squeezy. Do I wanna fight? Do I wanna set up my stealth rocks? I don't think so. I think we just switch. Uh, I could go into Venusaur here. That seems like kind of meh. Yeah, Venusaur seems kind of meh here. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna go into Zeraora. Because I don't think he's one. I don't think he's gonna stay in. I mean, he might. But Zeraora is just like a really easy. It's like a super free switch. Look at this. The clean Volt Absorb. I'm just gonna Volt Switch again. <laughs> Actually, I think I'm going to Plasma Fist this turn. Yeah, we're going to Plasma Fist. I think we probably kill. I don't know. I just think he's going to predict me to Volt Switch again, so he's probably going to switch out, is my guess. Even if he will, it's like, Zeraora 
is really great for coming in and getting like incremental damage and then just chipping things down. Oh yeah, that didn't kill. That didn't come close. So he's probably gonna willow us, is my guess here. If he stayed in, he's willowing. Yeah, unfort, dude. Never lucky. <laughs> I, I just honestly didn't expect that play. Um, that means Zero Aura is like kind of null and void as a Pokemon this game, which is fine. It's super fine. I'm just gonna Volt Switch this turn. I could go straight out into Venusaur. Seems fine. Like, what's he gonna do? I probably should run out into Venusaur earlier. Like, the initial switch, I guess. Like, when he went for his... Mm, no. Okay, this is good. Because now, depending on what he goes out into, we can just figure out our lives. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, we, we've got a game plan for this. Still has a reasonable chunk. Pokemon's just not good. All right, so I have a few things I can do here, but I think the easiest is just go out into Flygon. And then I think we kind of scare him out, right? Actually, I could just go into Venusaur, right? Like, let me run a quick calc here while we still have while we still have time. Uh, what is this thing called? A Haxorus? Uh, Sludge Bomb's not a guaranteed KO. All right, I'm just going to go out into Flygon here and click U-turn. Actually, I can just click Earthquake, right? Like, what's the worst he could do to me? Even if he's Scarfed, I outpace the second time around. I think we just click Earthquake here. No, I think we click up. U I think we click U-turn and keep up the momentum. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're just trying to keep the momentum up here. Now I go into my Silvali. Uh, Silvali is a full send here, right? It's like Silvali or Venusaur. How much time do I have left? Uh, Klefki, Silvali, uh, it's pretty close to killing. Venusaur, Weather Ball, and Sun, uh, also looks like it kills. Let's do that. Let's make this play. Maybe the Silvali is better since, like, Venusaur is, like, the late game threat. Yeah, I think I like the Silvali better, since Venusaur is a late game threat, but, I mean, I get, we're going to have to play against it eventually, so, I guess we just click Weather Ball here, engage. If he goes for Thunder Wave, then good on you. Uh, Thunder Waving the Venusaur is, like, pretty tough. I think we should run out into the Silvali, because Silvali eats a Thunder Wave and it's, like, not a big deal. Because Silvali is not my late game cleaner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I misplayed. I scuffed. If he's the Thunder Wave set. Which you could just set up screens. If he sets up one screen, I'll probably just switch out into Silvali. I think he also has to, like, think this turn through a little bit. Because, like, is paralyzing the Venusaur worth... Yeah, I was going to say, is paralyzing the Venusaur even worth this thing dying? I mean, this is also going to hurt. This kind of confuses me a little bit. Uh, like, it's a little bit of a confusing play. Because you never outpace. We still have sun up, right? Yeah, we have two turns of sun left. All right, I'm going to go for a sludge bomb here. Unless he's poison berry. How much time do I have left? 46 seconds. Uh, dude, I'm so used to the VGC clocks at this point. Terry kiss. And what is it? It's... Mm, I don't know what berry or poison one is. Uh, sludge bomb... Is it Kessaberry? Kessab? Berry? It's not Kessab, is it Kibia? Yeah, Kibia Berry. Uh, yeah, that would mean I don't kill in this instance, but I think I still go for it, right? I think we're probably living a hit here. Also, no Berry, so Togekiss just drops. I probably spent a little bit too much time on that turn, thinking through it. Uh, it just looked like we lived in Air Slash, so... I'm like, why not? Uh, this is interesting. Like, what's your switch into this? Zarude? 
I don't think outpaces. We know the Zerd's Scarf, so I don't think that outpaces anyways, but we'll just get a quick check here. Uh, scarf. Choice Scarf. Yeah, Zerd hits 508. Oh, the Zerd actually would outpace his max speed Scarf. Uh, this is an interesting, this is an interesting turn, because I don't super want my Venusaur to go down. I think I'm just clicking Sludge Bomb here. Um, the Sludge Bomb is probably a roll to kill. Oh, first impression. I think we live one. Yeah, okay. Alright, Venusaur kind of coming through, putting in some work. Um... The Harsh Sunlight fades. So we're actually going to save Venusaur because I think it's good for two more attacks. Give or take. Uh, of course, this all depends on like what he goes out into. Does Zerud get Pursuit? Or Pursuit's removed from the game. Uh, we're for sure going out into Torkoal here. He has a hard time breaking through Torkoal. And Venusaur can just come back in later and pick up a kill. Maybe one or two. I don't know exactly how many life orb hits it takes. Like how many life orb hits it has left. Uh, but I know that we can probably come back in and pick up a KO. Alright, so what's your play on this turn? His Volca run a late game is still really strong. Like something we have to be kind of like conscientious of. I mean, I don't think Volcarona is touching my Torkoal uh, very hard. And I also was like, I think I just have to get damage off on the Volcarona too. Rotom Wash is like kind of an obvious switch here. Yeah, I think Rotom Wash is kind of an obvious switch here. I mean, I don't think I would stay in. I also don't think I would sack Venusaur off. Oh, well this is interesting. All right, so now we're just gonna click Rock Slide while he quivers. That's the plan. Oh, aren't we expected to switch here? Oh, we do not take two of those, which is kind of tough. It's kind of tough. Uh, this has a shot to kill though. Okay, so we don't get the kill, which is fine. Uh, I'm gonna stay in a Lava Plume. I don't think I need Torkoal to- I don't need Torkoal to, like, stick around anymore. Because now we can just go out into Venusaur, and Venusaur can- I, It's either gonna pick up one kill or two kills. So it's either gonna kill this thing... <laughs> it's either gonna kill this thing and then something else, or it's gonna kill this thing and then die. In which case, I think we can win the late game with just, like, chipping things down. Uh, Pangoro still looks pretty strong. So, yeah, I think we I think we have outs here. I'm gonna actually just go for the Sludge Bomb. This thing doesn't get priority, right? I actually don't know that. I'm pretty sure a quick attack would kill me right now. Uh, if you went to Klefki right now, that would probably be a good play, actually. Since Sludge Bomb is like pretty forecasted here. Okay, cool. All right, so we pick up a kill. Uh, Venusaur picked up three kills so far, right? Now, do we have one more hit in us? No, we do not. All right, so I'm actually gonna go out into my Silvali so we can make use of the rain turns, the sun turns rather. But I think we can just win with like Scarfed Flygon in the late game. We just have to kill the Klefki, or we just have to like hit the like lock into Earthquake, kill this thing. So we have to kill this thing, we have to kill the Klefki, and then I think Scarf Flygon can win in the late. Alright, so I'm just gonna go... What does he have left, right? Real quick. Okay, no. It's this, right? Uh, so he has the Rotom Wash left, which means we actively have to... I think we have to just Sword Stance here. He's just gonna go for a U-turn into the Rotom Wash. We should have a decent amount of sun turns left. I need to look at what a plus two. Okay, plus two to just like a standard defensive Rotom Wash. It's gotta be Rotom Wash, right? Oh, it's the Klefki. Okay. 
uh, Rotom Wash, we're at plus two and we're in the sun. Oh, it, it does a million. All right, so go for the multi-attack here. This is fine. I mean, if we get fully paired this turn, it's kind of tough. Like, it's kind of tough, but this is fine. So the Klefki's dead. Presumably gonna go out into the Rotom Wash. I'm gonna click Explode. I think, well no, the Rotom Wash already has damage done to it. So I'm gonna click, I'm just gonna click uh, Multi-Attack here and hope that we, hope that we break through Paralysis. If Venusaur picks up three kills and then Silvali picks up three kills, it's just like my perfect game. It's like two of my favorite Pokemon just picking up all the kills. Either way, I think we win this game with just Flygon in the back. I think. I'm not sure. I think it really benefits me that he didn't bring the Golurk. Like, Golurk actually <laughs> kind of... I mean, Venusaur plows through Gol Golurk, right? But Golurk kind of does a lot against me. I think this is fine. I think we'll still kill if we land. Or like if we, yeah, yeah, I think we still kill here. I think all we had to do is break through paralysis. Oh, that's insane. All right, how many turns of sunlight do we have left? Because that actually like changes my damage a lot. Okay, one more. Uh, okay, so we have to break through this turn. I guess I could have just gone for explosion. It's, it's like actively impossible for him to gain enough life uh, to live a multi-attack. But... In the sunlight, that is. Uh, but explosion just guarantees a get. Like, if he, I don't think he's switching. The scarves of root is like his win condition at this point. So we have to not get fully parried here. Okay, cool. All right, so this thing dies, and then I can just click explode on the Zarude, hope hoping that it doesn't kill me. I mean, I don't know. What, I don't know what Zarude does. I'm just gonna click explosion. If we live the hit, we live the hit. No matter what, I'm not switching out because I want to see what he locks himself into. Uh, like, Pangoro probably lives a hit from this thing and can get pick up a kill, which is fun for me. I I like that. We'll just, like, see whatever he locks himself into. I'm not going to put up a set yet, but I'm going to go ahead and put, like, 252 Adamant. It's just, like, a guess here. Okay. Uh, we're going to click Explosion. This thing doesn't get knockoff, right? That's super sus. This thing should get knockoff. There's like already not enough good knockoff uses. This thing could have been one. Power whip? Is this just like the concession? We should live this. Yeah, on four. Did we get fully paired? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like, it was roughly time for that. Okay. All right, so we could also dodge a power whip here. Um, it's like 80% accurate, right? There's no way this thing like reverse four is me, right? Seems hard. Oh, we did dodge though. Oh, and we got the explosion off. That's a that's a rip of a dodge. Um, Pangoro always lives one and always okay though. So I think we were fine. I think no matter what happened, we came out on top. Yeah. Okay. Good game, Roots. Uh, you know, you came in with the sets. I think Zarud is probably a hard Pokemon to build right now. We just don't have enough data, but that was fun. I like, I, there's something about playing in a zero stress environment that I find very fulfilling. So I will probably be posting these to my YouTube channel. One, it's content that I'm creating currently. So why not? Like I said, some of these might be uh, in sort of like showdown format, but if they are, uh, just uh, watch some showdown games with me. I just never posted showdown stuff to my to my channel. But uh, before I get out of here, I do want to say uh, right now I'm streaming every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on Twitch. If that sounds like something you would enjoy, please go ahead and make your way on over to Twitch and follow me there. I'm doing the doubles ladder. Also, I would like to say that a lot of my views are coming from people who aren't subscribed. So if that's you, uh, you might as well click subscribe because we're just here to have fun. And I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please click like. Let me know in the comment section down below uh, if you if you want this kind of content where I'm just kind of like versing my friends with the team we drafted for fun because I think I think it's fun, right? Okay, those are all my things. I'm kind of done here. I have to leave. Bye.
Oh, you made it to the end of the video. That's dope. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you would like to see more from me and make it to the end of those videos, there will be a video here and a video here. This one is a video that I think is really good, and this is what YouTube recommends. So you should watch one of them. Okay, thanks.